what's happening guys man I got something cool here today I was contacted Monday by GearBest asking me if I'd like to review their products I said sure and the lovely lady from GearBest Olivia asked me if I'd like to review this one in particular I said why not they shipped it Tuesday it is now Thursday and it's here from China that is some seriously impressive shipping I don't know what else to say about that so it is packaged in a rather nondescript cardboard box And while I'm opening this, I'd just like to say this was uh, provided free of charge for our consideration. Lots of packing material, double boxed, excellent shipping. So, here we have in this little faux book, caught it, let's uh, zoom in here a little bit if I can find my remote control there we go Cadus or Cadus an open source DIY box to get started please visit Cadus.com and this is the Cadus Vim with two gigabytes of RAM and eight gigabytes I believe of um, e MMC. So let's open her up here. Now, what this is is marketed as an Android TV box, but it's basically a single board computer, not wholly unlike your Raspberry Pi or the chip inside the box is a USB type C cable and the device itself so this is incredibly small three and a half inches by just about two and a half inches with a thickness of about a half an inch and for those of you of the metric persuasion 82 by 57 and a half by 11 and a half millimeters now at the heart of this box is the AM logic s90 5x quad core processor this is an ARM Cortex A53 processor and it also has uh, the video processor which I'm looking for but uh, I'll, I'll put the specs up because I'm not quite sure what it is on this side here we have three buttons I believe they're power reset and function on the front we have a USB port, a USB type C port, HDMI, RJ45, and another USB port. On the back we have a micro SD card slot. So this guy is really tiny and really compact. Let me see what those uh, USB ports are it's a type 2 they're type 2 USB ports one with 500 milliamp and one with 900 milliamp uh, this is a connector for a real-time clock and I believe this comes with Android uh, 6 or 6.1 so what do you say you and me go out to the kitchen where I've got that monitor set up that I've been playing with the pie with and we'll hook her up 
and see what kind of song she sings. Come along, Val. All right, so I think that I've got everything hooked up. There she is. I mean, all there was was power and HDMI and also a USB dongle for my USB keyboard. So if I press the power button, we'll see how long it takes. Wow. Okay, that's like a damn near instantaneous. I'm impressed. Now this monitor doesn't have any sound. So that's okay, I already did that. Alright, I've got the old Antutu benchmark. And as you can see, I ran it and it gives us thirty-two thousand four hundred and sixty-nine. So it seems like everything is going pretty well there. Let's uh let's hit the reset button, which I think is the front button, and time it one more time. Uh, tell you what, let me get my phone here. And we'll get up the old clock. And the timer. And reset, and here we go. We'll see how long it really takes. Hopefully it doesn't take too long, because that could be somewhat annoying. So we're coming up on 20 seconds from a cold, dead start. 26, and 30. And to the desktop in I don't know how long. Hmm. 45 seconds. Coming up on a minute now. Fifty-eight seconds. So close to a minute. Let me check once more to make sure our Bluetooth is connected. Yeah, we're good there. So I guess it remembers the Bluetooth connection. Let's see what version of Android is actually on here. About device. So 6.0.1. Oh, and there's our marshmallow. Very nice. All right, so this came with like almost nothing extra installed at all, which is very nice, saving us lots of room. Oh, let's let's check uh, how much memory we've got available here. I should have done that earlier, but I didn't think about it. Where's she at? Where's she at? Memory. 572 megs used, so we got 1.2 gigs free. And storage. Oh, it's just show us how much using there. It's not showing us the EMMC. Okay. So let's try. YouTube How about that crazy Canuck Ave Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop today a treat especial we are going to see if and indeed there is a certain I'd say way that's uh, playing pretty well not fuckers longingly laid out before us <laughs> Now as you may have also noticed I've installed Cody. 
which I mean, if you're going to have an Android TV box, this is the primary reason that you'd have it. Am I right or am I right? I'm right. Thank you. Okay, I don't have any repositories up yet, so um, let me install one, and I'll be right back. All right, let's install come up here to the little open box and we are going to install from a zip file cipher oh, I think I already did that part okay so we'll install from a repository ciphers locker video add-ons and there we go exodus that's what we want so we install exodus here and it'll take just a few seconds and hook us into all the TV and movie downloading goodness that Cody has to offer okay Exodus is installed it's right here in our add-on folder bring it up take just a few seconds oh I agree and we can just go to say new episodes and it'll look up the new episodes of things now any delays you're seeing here are simply the result of my internet and not the delays of this box because I see the same you know things like this happening when I run this on my pie so we'll choose a show to watch how about the Orville everybody likes Seth MacFarlane right all right when this is uh, got a file running I'll bring it up Okay, so there's no stream available for that one yet. It might be too new. Let's try something else here. We'll try TV shows. Well, it really doesn't matter here. How about some Adult Swim? A little Rick and Morty. And we'll see how this one goes. Now, while this is loading up, I've got a thermocouple inside that case and on the chip. And you can see we are at 55 degrees C there, or 130 degrees Fahrenheit, which is acceptable. It's a little warm. Okay, looks like Rick and Morty is going to play. So now we just have to pick one of these streams. And we'll see which one will work. This one looks like it's going to be a winner. Let's go, let's go. Morty, you gotta, come on. There you we gotta, go. What, Rick? What's going on? I got a surprise for you, Morty. What are you talking about? Oh, I got a surprise for you. Come on, hurry up. You gotta get okay. Out. You gotta get out of here. Oh, you're talking to me too hard. Right Don't want any copyright flag, so. <laughs> there you go. Pretty cool. Cody seems to work great. YouTube works great. Okay guys, we're going handheld for the final part here. This is one of my videos playing in full screen. I'm going to take you down here and have a look. And you can see it's using right around a half an amp. And I've still got the uh, thermocouple in there. 122 degrees so like I said not bad with the heat not too bad on power either so all in all I'm pretty impressed with this little box uh, in a couple of weeks I'm gonna do another video on it because there are some Linux distributions available and we'll see if we can get Linux up on here running with RetroPie and Cody and the Port of Doom and holy crap we're just gonna have some fun so I hope you guys enjoyed this if you did give me a thumbs up 
feel free to comment, share, and thank you for subscribing. It means a lot to me. We have a great little community here. I'm out. Peace.